Hey guys, welcome to this first installment of this Godot tutorial series where we're going to be building a Flappy Bird clone using Godot Engine. And what we'll be doing is, uh, as you can see, is we're going to be creating this game on screen in uh, Godot. So what we'll be building is a couple of uh, uh, elements uh, which come from the Flappy Bird game, but we're going to be reinventing it uh, to be a game called Flappy Fish. So if you want to uh, follow this tutorial series, then uh, please do subscribe to the channel now and hit that notification bell so that you can get notifications when I release all the other videos in this tutorial series. So just to show you what we're going to be building, I'm going to hit play on this so that we can uh, just play through a little bit of the gameplay. So you can see it's in a, a mobile sort of aspect ratio and we've got uh, various elements which we need to dodge, which is these corals and the hooks above. And as you can see, the score increases. And if we hit one of those obstacles, we die and get a menu where we can restart our game. So that is what we're going to be building in this tutorial series. Uh, we're going to be covering uh, quite a few concepts like um, game scene, uh, scene uh, instancing, which is going to allow us to spawn various objects in our game, which is useful for most of your games uh, that you're going to be building. We're going to be uh, looking at timers and how we can use them to spawn objects at a given time. We're going to be looking at particle systems like this uh, bubbles where we're going to create a bubble effect in our scene. We'll be doing a player animation uh, using uh, sprite sheets and sprites. We're going to be doing some uh, UI elements uh, for our menu just to give you a basic idea of how menus work, etc. And we're going to be implementing some shaders for our infinite scrolling background so that we've got uh, this effect you see here. So we're also going to uh, include some various depths of uh, backgrounds as well to just give that little bit of a parallax or submersive effect uh, in the game. And then we also are going to be looking at uh, a couple of other scripting uh, principles which uh, is going to be useful in your games going forward. So this tutorial series uh, offers quite a bit in terms of uh, various uh, techniques which we'll use in uh, 2D games. So this will be useful for your uh, side scrollers, infinite runner games uh, which you can build for mobile. So a lot of these hyper casual games most of these techniques you'll be able to reuse. So if you are a beginner and wanting to get into game development, then this is one of the more ideal tutorial series for, for you because we will be taking this all the way to the point where we are going to be building an APK for the Android store. So guys, uh, that's basically uh, what we're going to be building. I'm not going to be getting into the tutorial just yet. Uh, I will be doing that in the next video. I uh, just wanted to give everyone an introduction and a heads up to what we're going to be building over the next couple of weeks. So do hit subscribe. Uh, do uh, like the video so that uh, it can be boosted in the search engines. And uh, I do want uh, this video to do well because I want to start creating a lot more uh, of these tutorials so I can only do that with your help and uh, your subscriptions and likes and comments below uh, for the YouTube algorithm so uh, guys please uh, do support me if you are interested in uh, more Godot tutorials and just game development tutorials uh, in future so guys uh, that's basically the end of this video uh, we'll be looking at uh, setting up our project in the next one so guys uh, see you in the next video cheers